Obviously, on 13 year old Deontay Mitchell is complete, but as of right now, the cause of his death hasn't been determined. Deontay's body was found in this field Thursday morning. Police have three people in custody related to the murder. Today, we start to get a clearer picture of what led up to this tragedy. Let's get to Sean Lay. Sean, uh, what have you been able to learn today? Steve, we learned that there's so much, of course, emotion uh, that we're all feeling because of Deontay's case. We heard today from the chief and from the mayor of Detroit, Mike Duggan. A lot of anger, a lot of emotion here uh, at police headquarters. In the meantime, what we're going to do right now is detail minute by minute exactly what happened with Deontay last Tuesday night from the time he ended up at a liquor store at 1030 at night with his cousin to when the main suspect in this case, uh, Gregory Walker, came into view. It's a tragedy that Detroit's mayor describes this way. Tragedy of Deontay Mitchell has touched uh, the hearts of all Detroiters. And now we have a clearer picture of how 13 year old Deontay Mitchell was abducted and killed. 1030 Tuesday night, Deontay and his young cousin first appear on the security cameras at Nino's liquor store on East Warren. At 1114, suspect Gregory Walker is seen urinating in the store's lot. He seems drunk and disoriented and he drops exactly $70. Deontay is seen picking up the money. Five minutes later, 1119, this, an enraged Walker is seen leading Deontay by the arm at gun point, stuffing the boy into his black car. Deontay's cousin sees the abduction, but he does not call for help. Finally, at one in the morning, one of Deontay's friends calls 911 for help. No adult ever calls. No parent or adult are aware that Deontay has been taken. At the moment of this abduction, police say Deontay Mitchell was never seen alive again. His body was found in an overgrown field five miles away. We're talking about a defenseless young man and an adult who was frankly three times the size. Uh, what's the point of a weapon? Uh, what's the point of abducting a child, a defenseless child? We're talking about a 13 year old. The story uh, of Deontay uh, being senselessly killed over such a small amount of money uh, is one that's going to stay with us a long time. Indeed, staying with all of us for a very long time. Here's another interesting thing that the chief did say, uh, although we've got now four people are under arrest and Deontay's body has been recovered. This case, uh, Karen and Steve, remains wide open. The investigation remains wide open at this point. Back to you. Sean, I'm guessing prosecutors want to be very careful, which is why this is still wide open as you describe it. So any charges yet? Not yet. Those charges are being prepared. Here's the deal. You've got uh, Walker and his girlfriend being held in Ohio. So once charges are filed there, they'll have to be extradited here. They are being held on unrelated felony warrants. However, the two other guys somehow related to this case or picked up in this case, charges are pending against them right now. But as you mentioned, crossing T's, dotting I's, making sure everything is sealed up in this case. You're right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Sean Lay reporting live. Thank you, Sean.